It's probably my spino with the progeny waters that will be chapter. Today I'll show you the tie at 10 caddis. Hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you next week. Okay, we're gonna tie at 10 El Care caddis. I already put up in my vices at Daiichi 1180 size 14. You can go all the way down to a size um, 18 uh, for this fly. I am going to use some tan color uh, 6-0 uh, thread. I'm going to lay a basal thread um, starting about one eyelet away from the eyelet of the hook. I'm going to go down the hook shank with my thread. I'm going to reach in with my scissors and cut the uh, tag end of that thread. Then I'm going to get a piece of um, extra small copper wire, ultra wire. I'm uh, just going to get a few inches and a few inches will be um, sufficient to tie multiple flies. I am going to uh, secure my um, this extra small ultra wire along the hook shank like so. Then I'm going to apply a little wax on my thread. Just a small amount. I'm gonna get some <clears throat> uh, light tan uh, dubbing. I'm gonna apply that onto my thread. I'm gonna make sure that I remove any uh, clumps. I'm going to uh, spin the dubbing on my thread, making a very thin noodle. I'm going to go back to where the bend of the hook starts. I'm going to build the body uh, for this uh, caddis ply. I'm just going to add a little more. Right up here. Like so. Okay, I like that that shape. Then I'm gonna get a brown ackle. I'm gonna choose a, a little one. I am going to um, remove some of the fluff at the base of the uh, ackle. I'm going to expose the stem. Then I'm going to tie in the stem with the uh, curve of the uh, ackle facing me, the shiny side facing me. Now that I secure the ackle, I'm going to cut that piece of the stem that's sticking out. I'm going to grab my ackle pliers. And then I'm going to start palmering the ackle around the hook shank. And I'm going to go through the back, through the dubbing. Like so. Making some uh, open wraps. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one more turn right where the um bend of the hook starts. Then I'm gonna get get, get my um ultra wire, my copper ultra wire, and I'm gonna start going through the um wiggling through <clears throat> through those ackle fibers so not to trap um too many of them. So this is gonna add some um Gonna add some strength to the um, to the fly, and it's gonna allow me to secure that ackle that we just added. I'm gonna go over my thread. I'm gonna lift the wire up, cut the wire off, 
and then I'm gonna reach in with my scissors and cut the um, end of the ackle that we no longer need. I'm gonna trim some of these ackle fibers around top of the fly. Okay, so now we are ready for the next step. And for the next step, I am going to get some uh, natural elk hair. Here's the patch that I have. I'm gonna cut some off. Um, maybe half a pencil. I'm gonna cut it from the hide. I'm gonna hold the tips. I'm going to run my comb through it so I can remove any short fibers and any uh, uh, under fur. I am going to insert this elk hair um, clump into my air stacker, like so. I'm going to stack it. Then I'm going to hold my air stacker horizontal. I'm going to rem remove the bottom part of the uh, air stacker. I'm going to grab the uh, elk hair by the tips. I'm gonna measure this. We want this to be um, the um, L care to be about as long as the hook shank. I'm gonna measure that. I'm going to make a couple of loose wraps holding the L care over the hook shank. And then I'm gonna pull up with my thread and lock the L care in place. Like so. I'm gonna lift the front and make a few traps thread wraps in front of it, right behind the eyelet of the hook. I'm going to reach in with my scissors, and cut the elk hair at an angle, like so. Then I can get my whip finisher. And we finish the fly. Like so. so I'm gonna make one more just for safe measure. I can cut my thread off and there you have it, a 10 Elkhair Caddis. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next week.